when you think of Playboy, this is probably the last image you thought you'd see a Muslim woman covered from head to toe wearing a hijab. Well, the magazine is going through an image overhaul and they're trying out something new and it's getting mixed reviews. When you think about Playboy, what are the words that you think about? Just like naked girls and stuff. Sexual sexuality. Kim Kardashian and them, and like the nude uh, models and stuff like that. Mention Playboy and most will conjure up images of sexy centerfolds with naked women. But this month's issue includes the complete opposite. Smart. <laughs> Meet Noor Tagori, a 22-year-old journalist and motivational speaker from D.C., featured as one of the magazine's renegades of 2016. She's, like, stepping out. She's kind of breaking barriers. It seems pretty modest, but then you look at the thing and it's like, you know, this is a Playboy that just hits you. I just don't think, like, what Playboy does really supports Islam yeah. and, like, our beliefs. And I don't think she should be representing them either. Of course, my parents' first reaction was like, <laughs> Yeah, no. Tagori says she was initially apprehensive about taking part in the shoot. But when she learned that Playboy's rebranding meant the magazine would no longer publish nudes, she saw it as an opportunity. It was getting my message out to an audience that normally wouldn't hear it and probably isn't very familiar with your typical Muslim American woman. They're choosing to start celebrating how women use their bodies. This is one way that I choose to use mine. Playboy has to evolve with the times, and that's what's going on. This marketing professor says it'll be an uphill battle for Playboy to convince audiences they're no longer just a dirty magazine. Marketing is all about buzz. If you can have a story that creates attention, like, for example, the story that we're talking about today, it's so against what one would typically expect to find in a Playboy magazine, it's newsworthy. But this Muslim fashionista says she's not convinced this is the best medium to promote female empowerment. It goes back to what Playboy has been about, and which is objectifying women. So I think there's some aspects of a hijabi woman that fall into the same sentiments that a feminist would fall into. And can you ask yourself, would a feminist ever do a shoot for Playboy. Now, Taguri appears in the online magazine alongside a number of other people from different industries, including a gamer, a comedian, and a sex activist. Janelle Amasa, City News.